It's all in a day's work. But George's main job is running the jungle lab. This is an absolute monster. His team has already discovered 17 new species and catalogued hundreds of other animals. What have you got there, Jack? The latest creature has just been found on a tree right next to the lab. It's quite clearly a group of three caterpillars on that vine of some sort. I have no idea what that will become. It looks almost as if it's a snake. You know, it's quite disturbing if you're a bird, I suppose. As an extra defence, few of them will thrash around like that. What I think we should do is we should put them in a cage and just observe them. But it could be weeks until they, they actually pupate, which is the only way of finding out what they'll become. Some animals are showy. Others hide away, hoping they won't be seen. This one's cover has just been blown by wildlife cameraman Gordon Buchanan. Oh, do you know what that is? It's a beautiful fruit dove. <laughs> That's what it's called. That's not my name for it. I love all the names of, especially the birds in Papua New Guinea. You've got all these um, magnificent bird of paradise, magnificent rifle bird, the superb fruit dove, the beautiful fruit dove. They're all very descriptive. Unbelievably camouflaged sitting there. Such a good find. It's one of the jungle's more unassuming characters. But Gordon has his sights set on a far more flamboyant bird. Personally, I want to find birds of paradise. They are the most iconic bird family on the planet. They have fascinated every ornithologist, every naturalist since they were first discovered 400 years ago. I'm no different. Gordon's mission is to record one of the most extraordinary rituals in nature, the mating display of the bird of paradise. Underground, Steve and the caving team are battling against the Whitewater River. Steve is the team's naturalist. Even in a cave, some creatures still survive. These cave crickets are real specialists in this kind of environment. They have tiny little eyes, but really almost all of their senses are in these gigantic antenna. Look at that, I mean, that is probably six times the length of the body. They're tactile, they tap around in front of it in the cave, just feeling its way, um, and also pick up chemical signals. So it works like, like a nose, like eyes, and also a bit like a blind man's white stick as well. I think this one here is a female, possibly the least pretty looking girl in the world. In total darkness, looks are irrelevant. Above ground, appearances can be everything. Bird expert Jack Dumbacker's found a king bird of paradise. I would like to take a blood sample. So there's a small vein that runs right under the arm here. We can get the DNA from the blood and then we can use that for genetic studies. And we can also use it to test whether or not the birds are carrying malaria or other blood diseases. I'm missing the vein here. Keeping a record of all the animals is expedition photographer Ulla Lohmann. I've never seen colors like that. I mean, me being a photographer, I love colors, and especially when the light is just breaking into its feathers. It's just magnificent. All these colors are to impress the female and their mating display. They flash all these colors. They have a special dance that they do. And uh, the female's very drab, so she doesn't have any of these specialized colors. Just the, just the male has these. Completing the look are elaborate tail wires that play a big part in his courtship display. It's an important find, proof that birds of paradise live in this patch of forest. What have you got, Jack? Good to see you, Gordon. I cut up. caught up in that net. Let me just get my hand down in there so that he can't get away. Oh, a king! Oh, you beauty! 
Oh my goodness me. They are quite incredible. All the birds of paradise are almost beyond belief. Yeah. There we go. Jack releases it just where it was found. Well, it looks like he's happiest on a <laughs> vertical bird. Birds of paradise look stunning, but even more impressive is their courtship dance. Catching this on camera will draw Gordon deep into the jungle. <laughs> 